Let's go through these down dog to frog stand or crow position and then eventually taking it up to handstand. So first of all, we need to have a down dog. So this position obviously is nice and comfortable if your hamstrings are long, but if your hamstrings are short, you might need to bend the knees a little bit, but try and keep the feet pretty close to the hands because when we transition and come forwards and take the shoulders down and bend the arms, we need to create a shelf we also need to get the knees to the elbows. If I'm too far away with my feet, when I come forwards, I can't get my knees to the elbows. So nice and close position, ideally straight legs. There, now I'm gonna bring the elbows back towards the knees and the knees towards the elbows at the same time. Take the head and the shoulder far enough forwards so I can dip down and take the toes off. If you need to, you could keep tippy toes light. Then I'm gonna come back again. If that's comfortable, I'm gonna do the single leg version. So exactly the same start. I'm gonna keep one leg back and one leg forwards until my knee meets my elbow. So it comes in like this. Slightly to the side. I still take the head and shoulders forwards until this back leg starts to feel light. So I come forwards, that back leg starts to feel light and I just lift it up a little bit. What we don't wanna do there is lift the leg backwards because that will make us fall backwards or pull it in too fast because that will make us face plant. So the movement as we lift the leg up is more up in the air instead of backwards or forwards. Once we're comfortable with that we could try bringing it all the way in just making sure that you come back a little bit with the head and shoulders to meet the foot because the lever arm decreases and then back again. Once I have that I could try doing one leg in, one leg up into the middle so we've got both legs swap legs and back again to that down dog. Now, as you get more comfortable with that, we can start to load the arms and the shoulders more and more. So the legs actually become pretty light to the point that when I bring the legs in, there's hardly any weight on the legs. Once you get super comfortable in this position and you can load the upper back, shoulders, arms more than the legs, so the legs are not really doing anything, going up to handstand is obviously much easier. If I keep lots of weight in the legs, it's gonna feel super heavy. So I recommend just getting to the point where you can start to really float the legs before you start playing with the handstand entries. Until then, start working those eccentrics, handstands coming down to a frog stand or crow position. So more like starting this, starting in handstand, coming down as slow as possible, bending the elbows at the right point, just to create a space or a shelf to put the knees on. And if that feels impossible at the moment, use the wall to help you come down. So I'm rolling into the wall, bending the elbows until my knees find my arms. You will normally get pushed off the wall back to your feet early, but once you can do that with control, you can start to play with taking the hands a bit further away. So you're more here, and then I can go up and down through that position and not be spat out by the wall so much. But once you actually get the freestanding one, it's much easier. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.